Oh man, I need a haircut. Hey guys, today I'm here to let you know that I survived my first year of law school and I am officially done with final exams. So to celebrate, I wanted to do a little bit of a book haul. So all of the books in this haul are either physical or eBooks that I have accumulated since I believe March. So there are quite a few things to get through. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. The first two books that I have to share with you guys today, I received from Quirk Books in exchange for review. So thank you Quirk. And the first one of those is the Mystery Writers of America cookbook. I'm sure you guys have seen this on other people's channels because Quirk is fantastic about reaching out to booktubers, but this is such a cool concept for a cookbook. It's basically full of recipes that are based on food from different famous mystery writers and their crime or mystery novels. Some of the authors included in here are Lee Child, Mary Higgins Clark, Ben H. Winters, um, Gillian Flynn, and they actually even have a recipe from the TV show Castle. So if you are a fan of mystery or crime anything, I would suggest you check this out. And I haven't actually gotten to check out any of the recipes for myself or make them for myself, but I have read several of them. I think the layout of this book is beautiful and the photos are actually very Tumblr. The next quirk book I have to show you guys is also by the Mystery Writers of America and that is Manhattan Mayhem. This is basically a collection of mystery and crime short stories that's edited by Mary Higgins Clark and I think this is one of the most beautiful books I now have in my possession. It has this beautiful photographic uh, removable sleeve but if you look at the actual printed hard cover I love this color scheme. There's a map of New York on here and of course because Quirk does just spectacular books there are photographs inside as well. I will say that I've started this already. I'm really enjoying the collection so far but this doesn't come out until June 2nd so stay tuned. I will be talking more about it then. The next two books I have to show you are both from the Rangers Apprentice series and they are book six, The Siege of Bakanda, and book nine, Halt's Peril. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I am slowly but surely collecting this series in the hardcover first editions, and I am now only missing two books. I'm missing, I believe, 11 and 12, so I'm very excited that I have these in my possession. They're both a little bit worse for wear because I got, I believe, this one off eBay and this one used off Amazon, but I don't really mind because a lot of my other ones are used as well. I'm just super happy that I found these for ridiculously cheap in the first editions because the first editions are getting increasingly hard to find. Um, and I believe these were each under $5. So that's a steal and they look beautiful on my shelves. The last physical book I have to show you guys is How to Breathe Underwater by Julie Oringer. Oranger, I'm not sure, but this is basically a collection of short stories that I saw Mercedes over at Mercy's Bookish Musings raving about and then happened to go home one weekend and saw it sitting on my brother's school shelf. I knew he wasn't gonna read it again, so I pretty much just picked it up and stole it. Uh, but I really don't know what this is about other than the fact that Mercedes really liked it. I believe most of the short stories focus on teenage girls, which is something that I don't read about so often. So I am looking forward to getting to this. And if it's anything as good as Mercedes said it is, I will thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, before we get into eBooks, I just want to have a little bit of a nerd moment. My brother went to a Star Wars convention here in Anaheim recently, and he picked me up some bookmarks because I couldn't actually go with him. So the first one is this R2-D2 uh, laminated illustration bookmark, which I really like. And then the other one is, you know, it's very, very classic. We got some Luke and Vader going on here. And I want to say thanks, Trev. Thanks for picking these up for me. Um, he knows what to get his book nerdy sister. Moving into ebooks, first off, I received a review copy of Inked by Eric Smith. Eric Smith is the social media coordinator for Quirk Books, and he's also the author of The Geek's Guide to Dating, which I read earlier this year and really enjoyed. So when he asked if I wanted a review copy of his first YA novel, of course I said yes. All I know about it really is that it is a fantasy YA novel in which uh, 
ink or tattoos has the ability to kind of bind one's fate or destiny and the protagonist in this novel um, has been avoiding that for so long and it has finally finally caught up to him. I know that's not much help but all I really know about it is what I've read off Goodreads so I'm looking forward to finally getting around to reading this. It sounds really interesting and it's been a while since I read YA fantasy so I'm looking forward to it. The next two books I got as a part of the Kindle First program on Amazon. If you have a Prime membership on Amazon, you can actually get one book for free each month and those books that they have up for offer are always pre-releases in an ebook form of books coming out um, either later that month or later that year. Now I really don't know too much about either of these novels but the first one I want to mention is Trail of Broken Wings by Sajal Badani. This is a novel about an Indian American photographer who has to return home after her father suffers a heart attack I believe. Once she returns home though she can no longer avoid all of the negative uh, tension and negative history that her family has been trying to repress and she and her mother and her sisters are kind of forced to confront all of the things they've been trying to push away. The other Kindle first I purchased was Crow Hollow by Michael Wallace and I really know nothing about this book but I was drawn in by this sentence that kind of pitches the book on Goodreads and Amazon. In 1676, an unlikely pair, a young Puritan widow and an English spy, journeys across a land where greed and treachery abound. Again, I have no idea what that's about, but that sounds interesting enough for me, especially because it was free and we'll just have to see once I get around to it. I did actually make two other purchases for my Kindle and the first one of those was We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Hopefully I said that right. This I believe is exactly what it sounds like. It's a little novella on feminism and it's been making the rounds here on booktube so I was really intri intrigued when I saw that it was on offer for um, I believe like $1.99. I grabbed it up and it's pretty short so I'm assuming I will get to this one probably before the others. And the last ebook I have I actually just bought a couple days ago and that is The Execution by Dick Wolf. For those of you who follow my favorites videos at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of police procedural dramas and Dick Wolf, of course, is the mastermind behind the Law & Order franchise. He's the guy behind Chicago Fire and Chicago PD and I decided to just go ahead and pick this book up because Again, it was, I believe, $1.99 on Amazon. This is actually the second novel in his Jeremy Fisk detective series about an NYPD detective. So I thought I would just go ahead and purchase it even though I do own the first one and have yet to read it. I believe that one is The Intercept. Uh, but we'll see. I am such a huge fan of his television shows that I was really eager to see how his ideas translate into written fiction. So those were all of the physical books, ebooks, and bookmarks that I happened to acquire in the past couple of months. If you have read any of these books and you would like to suggest that I pick one up sooner than the other, please let me know. But I'm going to wrap this up here. My light is getting really weird. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye!